Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial on cosplay for Farming Simulator 17. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the seeding mode for the cosplay. First thing we want to do is open the cosplay hut by right clicking your mouse button, or click on your right mouse button, and you get the hut up here. Now, the mode you want to be in down here, these are all the modes for the cosplay. You want to be in fertilize and seeding, and that opens up this one here the course generation so let's click on that and now we can see on the minimap that we are in front of field number 12 so we want to select field 12 here now to verify that it is field number 12 we can click on the eyeball here and you can see we have a blue line around the field so there we go let's click that out of the way again now the working width is the width of the tool behind this so if we click the calculator it will automatically uh, show the width of the machine behind us. Three meters is what we have here. Now I want to set it down to 2.9 meters and see it's going into manual mode here. The 2.9 meters is just to verify, just to have a little bit of overlap, just in case he misses something the worker here. So the starting corner is going to be the southernmost eastern corner, right? And then we want to head west. Oh wait, that was completely opposite. The southernmost western corner and we want to head east. Oh my god, that was horrible. Anyway, southwest is where we are now, over here, and we want to head east. So, you could go north if you wanted to, so it would go that way there. Now that's just your personal preferences. I want to head east because that's the long distance of the field. I feel like I, I want, the, the worker won't have to turn as much as if I go north and south. So I'm going to go east and west. West. So return to the first point. Yes, we want to do that. Uh, so if we didn't, he would stop down in this corner there. Now returning to the first point brings him back to here when he's done. Um, headlands. We could have headlands, but in this case, we don't have anything surrounding the field that could cause us any problems. No obstacles or, or anything like that. So I don't need headlands for this. That should be just about it. So if we click here we will see that we have the start icon of the path right here or the start icon of the course that also translate into the stop icon of the course because we have told the worker to come back to the start point so we're ready to go so let's just save this course here as oh my god here we go field 12 seeding three meter and return to save the course so now we have the course here if you click the globe we have the course right there field 12 seating three meter now I also have the course from field 14 the cultivate three meter and what I like to do is separate these I like to have these sorted out so I can create a new folder here and this folder here I'm gonna call field 12 and I'm going to create another folder here for the field 14. So let's create one more and we'll call that field 14. So now I have a folder called field 12 and I have a folder called field 14. So let's bring this one here. You can move. You can see down below, down here in this corner. You can see when I hover above this icon, it says move to folder. So I'm going to push, the, push that one and I want to place it into the field 12 folder. So now the course that I just created disappears from here. The same goes with this one. Now those two courses are gone from here, but I have the two folders, field 12, that contains the field 12 seeding three meter course. So that, that course is ready to go. Now if I am to click that icon, that removes the course from the tractor, so it now currently has no course loaded. I can load the course by clicking that folder icon, and we're back to go. So if I go into here and say start at the first waypoint and drive course, he will start seeding as you can tell here and it's a she. She will start seeding and the seeding is going. Now I've set up my um, my farming simulator on easy mode which means that the worker is not using uh, field of fertilizer from the actual tool it's buying the field of fertilizer from the shop so you won't see this one going down 
I could change that if I go into settings. Uh, let's have a look. Helva refill seed off, Helva refill fertilizer off, and go back here. Now you will see these two numbers here decrease as the worker is actually using um, the seed and fertilizer. So now we're at the end of the first lane, and she is going to reverse back and line up the cedar for the next line that goes the other direction and once she's done with that well guess what she's going to return to the start point of this field here and that is basically how to use the seeding and fertilizer mode in cosplay there is a couple of there is an option here the ridge markers which is set to automatic right now now this particular sower or cedar doesn't have a ridge marker so we can't actually use them if there had been a ridge marker on the cedar it would have unfolded it and you can set it to automatic or manually so I tend to use that in, in automatic and that is basically how that is now you can tell down here in the bottom uh, she's going to be working for another 37 minutes and 24 seconds until she's done seeding she's on um, She's on number 75 out of 1,244 uh, waypoints. So there's quite a way to go here. But once she's done, she's going to return to this point here. And that, my friend, is basically how to use the seeding for cosplay for Farming Simulator 17. I hope you liked this video and I hope you learned something. If you did like it, go ahead and press that like button. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.